Coach Nafai here, talking about one of the most important days of the Spring Feast. Yep, we're talking about the last day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the 21st day of the month, and that day that those of us who have discovered that narrow path to our Father will be celebrating with the Lord. Now, first of all, I want to welcome all of the new subscribers as well as the visitors to our channel. The Spring Feast of the year 2021, I believe, has been the most productive as far as people coming to the light of the Lord. There are many people who have recently discovered what the Messiah meant when he said that he is the way. And I believe we now understand what that way is. All roads lead through Passover. So, all of you guys who are new to this channel, again, I say welcome. One of the things that you'll find on our channel is that we spend a lot of time talking about feast days as well as the Sabbath day because we understand that relearning how to keep these feasts are repairing the paths to dwell in, making us the repairers of the breach that you hear about in Isaiah chapter 58. So now you guys who are celebrating in the second month should have days filled with praising our Father with thanksgiving and uplifted hands. That would represent your offering that we are to make every day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And of course you are enjoying your unleavened bread which not only includes those grain products but also includes the Word of God. So. I'm glad to hear so many of you guys are reading scripture, some of you for the first time. And for you guys who showed up a little bit late and missed the Passover, I tell you again that baptism would be the same as the Feast of Passover with one major difference. And that is Passover, you can only do it during certain days of the year, the 14th day of the first month. Or if you missed that, you have the 14th day of the second month, but you can get baptized any day of the year and you will get the remission of your sins just like as if you were to keep the Feast of Passover. So if you missed Passover in the year 2021, find a way to get baptized, whether you do it yourself, which a lot of people are doing, or let a family member or a loved one do it for you. Like we said, we're now learning what this path entails to get back to our Father. And baptism is a major milestone in that road back to his presence. So don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Baptism counsels out your sins. And like I said, unlike Passover, you can do it any time of the year. But anyway, let's get into the seventh day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Now, we're looking here at a calendar that I drew up to represent the second month on the sacred calendar. It is almost identical to the first month because we're given a second chance to keep the Feast of Passover in the second month. So, let's take a look at a couple of verses, particularly Exodus chapter 12 and verse 18, which is telling us that the Feast of Unleavened Bread lasts for seven days and it ends on the one and twentieth day of the month. Now, I quickly bring you back over here to the calendar because what you'll see is that the 21st day of the month is actually the day before the Sabbath day. And a couple of days before the Feast of First Fruits, which starts the day after the Sabbath day. But we'll cover that in our next class, Lord willing. When we look at Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 8, we're reminded that we are to make an offering made by fire unto the Lord for the seven days of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And of course those offerings will look better as we perform this feast throughout the years. So don't be worried if you don't think you quite got that right. Any efforts you did in order to complete this feast day would have been recognized by our Father in Heaven. But anyway, notice right there it says, In the seventh day is a holy convocation. Now this is the same seventh day that we saw in Exodus chapter 13 talking about the 21st day of the month but notice here that it says that it is a holy convocation now if we look this word up in the Google dictionary it says convocation is a large formal assembly of people 
or the action of calling people together for a large formal event. So the way to think about that is how in the past as well in the future when people are celebrating these feast days with us we would have had a holy convocation on the first day of the celebration where we would have invited everybody in to eat the lamb and then on the 21st will actually be another holy convocation and like we said this is the day before the sabbath day so on this 21st day of the month we're allowed to cook clean and prepare for these people who we will invite to our feast day with us and if the events were not at our house being on the 21st day of the month we're actually allowed to travel to somebody else's house to celebrate this holy convocation being that it is not a sabbath day now i believe that day is coming but for most of us performing these feast days today, it seems like we're all alone. So on the 21st day of the month is when we'll celebrate alone if we have to. But we understand that we are celebrating with our father. This is a very special day of the year for those who obey the scripture. So being alone to celebrate it won't stop us from celebrating on that day. So when is that day and when does it start? Well, for those who are in second Passover in the year 2021, which started on the evening of May the 25th as the 14th day of the second month, the 21st day of the second month will start on the evening of June the 1st. And it will last until the evening of June the 2nd when the Sabbath day will start. So on the evening of June the 1st and during the daylight hours of June the 2nd is when we will have this seventh day celebration and we'll do so by again eating unleavened bread reading the scripture and we'll be praying for repentance and for the welfare of others and we will be singing praises to our father with thanksgiving and uplifted hands a lot of people will be singing hymns and a lot of people will do like they do in the seventh month in the fall festivals and they will walk around with branches of goodly trees as a celebration of this yearly event. Again, ending on the evening of June the 2nd. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. One of the things we try to do is to keep you aware of the holy days and when they are and what we're supposed to be doing on those days. And in our next video, we'll talk about first fruits, which for the people keeping second Passover will start on the evening of June the 3rd it is during the daylight hours of June the 4th that they will make their wave offering that you read about in Leviticus 23. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do so, so you can keep up with the feast days throughout the year. Go ahead and hit that like button and leave us a comment. And I'll remind you again to get baptized if you miss Passover in the year 2021, whether you've been baptized or not. And for those who have completed these feast days in the year 2021 and are looking for additional ways that they can grow their relationship with the father i will remind you of the vow of the nazarite you hear about this vow over in the book of numbers chapter six it is a vow for men and women with the key element being to avoid all things made by the grape you will not eat anything from the grape and you won't cut your hair at all and after your vow is over you will shave your head and you will receive a blessing from the Lord and then you will be allowed to drink those things from the grape again. That's why many of you performing this feast for the first time will commit to the vow of Nazarite until Passover of the year 2022 when you will partake in the Passover wine. But again, I didn't mean to go into too much detail on that. I did want to bring it to your attention. So jump over there to Numbers chapter 6 and you can read about what I'm talking about and you'll also hear about this blessing that you hear us recite at the end of our videos which says may our father bless you and keep you may he make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you 
may our father lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace